All right, we're in the middle of working on that uh, GP38. The GP40 and the holiday special is already underway. Problem is, the GP38 had a bent frame and went out straighten it and it's fixing the fuel tank. Broken. We got a busted frame here. And, same time, one of my good scissors broke. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some PC-11 epoxy. Now this is not as strong as JV Weld, but what I like about it, it's in a can. Okay, it, this is the waterproof kind. There's PC-7. This stuff will dry underwater. So I've got about the same amount on, the, on this piece of baking parchment. Let's mix them up and see if we can do this. We're going to epoxy this guy. This is going to set us back. At least a day. I don't remember what the cure time is on this. Uh, but it's a while. So we will not. The trucks are ready. But uh, now we're stuck. Because we got to fix this frame. It did not, as far as I can tell, doesn't have zinc rot. But the frame is weakened. It was bent. I straightened it up. And it was bent pretty good. All right, now, I do not trust this guy. Because he had no hardener on this guy. It's going to be a little more trustworthy in this one. I think we will end up getting epoxy that's already got the hardener in. All right, so let's take a little test here and let's put some on the scissors. Uh -huh. And we'll get this scissors all put together. I used contact cement on this and that was a failure. Generally, contact cement doesn't fail, but on slippery plastic like this, it doesn't always work. Not when you contact cement is great for things where you got a where there's a sliding problem on flat surfaces. Contact cement is unbelievable, but on things like this, it did not have the strength for the lever action. So we are going to find out oh, if we can do this with the PC eleven epoxy. So it's pretty good. When you, if you go searching for epoxy, you're going to find PC11 and PC7. They're kind of similar, but the PC11 will harden underwater. All right, you guys have both got epoxy on you. Let's add a little bit more so you stop falling apart so we can do this frame. All right. Let's get this guy going and set the scissors aside. Okay. We'll clean off the excess later. We just want them together. And then, then we'll let them harden. So I'm going to set him off to the side. And he will harden on his own time. We don't need him today, so he can harden, or maybe not. Holy cow. Right, we'll get back to him now. Okay, now we got our stuff mixed up. Pretty good. Okay, so this is this one is kind of a problem in that we got this little end here. He needs epoxy. And we can't get too much because the shell sits down right on top of this. Then this part, look at that tiny little part there that gets epoxy. I don't know, this is going to be... This is going to be a tough one. I hope this works. If it doesn't, plan B is we're going to have to make something out of aluminum. I prefer not to because it's getting in the way of the holiday special. So what I did is I clamped it to this board. And I shimmed a little block here so that I could get it in position and have it stay where I put it while it's hardening. And then I can move it off the workbench. And it can basically harden later. It can harden while I don't have to worry about it. And there it is. Now, we'll see how that works out. But epoxy, sometimes you got to use it because epoxy is really strong, as you've seen in with the aluminum. All right, well, check back later. And then holiday special, well underway.